Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick review today of The Case of the Missing Marquez by Nancy Springer. So this book was written in 2006 and it is the first in the Enola Holmes mystery series. This is a children's book uh, recommended for ages 8 and up but I see this as such a universal book so don't turn off now if you are not a fan of children's books. I honestly think this is an all ages type of book. It was so much fun. I really I compare this a lot to the Flavia Deleuze books uh, by Alan Bradley. As you may have guessed from our protagonist's last name, uh, she is actually meant to be the younger sister of Sherlock and Mycroft Holmes. So not a character that appears in the original canon novels by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, uh, but a very fun one, I think. So in this particular book, Enola is 14 years old. She turns 14 at the beginning of the book and on her 14th birthday, her mother doesn't come home. So the book at the start is about solving the mystery of where Enola's mother has gone. Uh, one of the first things she does after she realizes that her mother is not coming back is to contact her much older siblings in London, Mycroft and Sherlock, who do make appearances in the book. Um, they're not in the entirety of it. It is very much about Enola, but her two brothers are there. So part way into the book, it becomes a little bit less about Enola's mother and a little bit more about a young Marquez that has gone missing, a mystery that Enola sort of sees herself thrown into. This is very much a cozy armchair mystery. If you're not much of a typical mystery reader, I think this is one that is very approachable and a lot of fun. While this is technically marketed towards children, and I do love children's books in general, I really think that this is one that a lot of people could enjoy. Just a really fun book and I'm so excited to read the other books in the series. I think there are currently five others so I will definitely be getting my hands on them and if you do like the Flavie de Luce books then I think this is a series to check out for sure. I really enjoy both and I think that they're just a lot of fun and I definitely see similarities between them even though the Flavia books are marketed towards a somewhat older audience. So I don't think you necessarily need to be a fan of Sherlock either to enjoy these. I just think that these would appeal to such a wide audience and I definitely recommend checking this out for yourself. So that's it for today, guys. If you have read this book or any of the others in the series, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon.